Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our review of the Hoover One Power Emerge Pet Plus cordless vacuum. The Emerge Pet Plus is Hoover's new flagship cordless vacuum, and after putting it through all kinds of tests over the past few weeks, I think it's the best cordless vacuum I've seen from Hoover, and it may be the best cordless vacuum in its price range on the market. So, links in the description, and let's get started. First, the basics. The Hoover One Power Emerge Pet Plus should not be confused with either the Emerge Pet or Emerge as they have very different characteristics, like the number of batteries they come with, the types of attachments they come with, and even the floor head design will vary, so be very careful as to which one you are buying. I bought the Emerge Pet Plus version with the extra battery, additional attachments, and all-terrain brush roll, which as we will see are all really important features. The one power in the name means it's part of Hoover's shared battery ecosystem, where the battery works with all of Hoover's many products in the one power lineup. Starting off with the pros, one of the biggest things is Hoover's new floor head design, which they call the all-terrain dual brush roll, which has a soft roller in the front integrated with a more or less standard brush roll in the back. One of the biggest benefits to this dual brush design is that it gives it amazing pickup ability on hard floors. It can pick up really fine debris just like it's dusting the floor, but it can also pick up extremely large debris. It's good with both pet and human hair on hard floors. It really is a game changer when it comes to hard floor vacuuming. But just because it's really good for hard floors doesn't mean it's bad for carpets. In fact, it was as good or better than any vacuum I've tested with debris pickup on carpets. Also, the transitions from hard floors to carpets were seamless, meaning that you don't have to adjust anything or push any buttons, and it doesn't pull forward or bog down on carpets, which can be an issue with other dual brush designs. We also test how good vacuums are at cleaning deeply embedded dirt in carpets, and here the Hoover One Power Emerge Pet Plus was well above average. It also had higher than average sealed suction scores in our tests, which really comes in handy with the above floor cleaning ability, which I'll get to in a minute. Its handle is pretty simple with just a high and low power button, but I really like the shape of the handle, which allows for different hand positions and helps you to find a better center of gravity to reduce strain on your forearm. Another big pro is the battery situation. As I said, I bought the Plus version, which comes with two batteries. I like that they are removable. I like that the batteries are part of a larger ecosystem system like the Hoover One Power lineup, if for no other reason than it makes it easier to find replacements or extras at decent prices, but you can also use it with other Hoover products. Hoover says each battery gets about 45 minutes on low power per charge, which is a little above average industry-wide. But of course, if you have two batteries, you can get double that at 90 minutes. I tested mine on max power and got a little over 12 minutes per battery, so that's 24 minutes total on max power, which is pretty good. If it were me, I would only use max power if I were vacuuming carpets or I was using it for above floor cleaning tasks, which brings me to one of my favorite aspects of the Hoover One Power Emerge Pet Plus. The the attachment set that comes with the Emerge Pet Plus version is well worth the extra money in my opinion because it turns this already great cordless vacuum into one of the best above floor cleaning systems I've ever reviewed. It has a powered extension hose that can be used with the motorized brush or the crevice tool slash dusting brush. This means that you can carry all the vacuum weight on one hand while you do all the work with the other hand, in other words without all the weight. It really is the future of above floor cleaning in my opinion. The tools that came with mine were top-notch, including a crevice tool slash dusting brush that really seemed to work well, as well as a motorized upholstery brush. Some other pros include a bright bank of LED lights on the floor head, which illuminate dark areas, and a well-designed swivel and head width, which allows for maneuvering in tight spaces. Last but not least, it has the ability to stand up on its own, and it's pretty sturdy as well. It's an underrated and quite rare feature. It can't all be good stuff, though, so let's move on to the cons. One somewhat ironic con is that it was louder than average, at least on max power in our tests. I say ironic because Hoover advertises it as being quieter than average, and to be fair, it is much quieter on low power. Another thing is that the handle weight is heavier than average. Not a huge deal in this case because it has that handle style where you can hold it in different ways to help mitigate the weight. Its filtration was just about average for cordless vacuums, and it did not pass the fog tests that we do. I would have preferred that it had a complete seal HEPA system, especially for the price. Its bin size was also smaller than average at 400 milliliters. But all those things are relatively minor cons when you compare it with all the pros that we saw. So an excellent value and easily the best Hoover vacuum that I've ever reviewed. Links in the description and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.